Lids might have finished 3-2, yeah. but when you look at that first half, you look at the day, the fans are in, the sun was shining, is that as good as it probably could have went? First half, I think especially it was, you know, we uh, we come out the traps, which we all, well, obviously always try and do here at Vic, um, and, you know, especially with, with, the, with the fans behind us, we uh, couldn't ask for a, a, better, a, better, a better opening 45 minutes, really. Um, and then and then second half, we obviously, we just come out aiming to win the second half, really, but um, they got the early goal, which probably, you know, unnerved a few people, but, um, you know, in the end, I, I know it finished 3-2, but it probably didn't, didn't, wasn't as, as close a game in that in the end, but, um, no, you know, thoroughly, uh, thoroughly deserved to go through on the day, I think, and, um, you know, the lads, lads are brilliant. Uh. When you were thinking about the game last night and dreaming mm. about how it could have went, could it have went that perfectly, especially when you went 3-0 up? No, I, no, I think I was saying to Fev last night, you know, if, we, if we'd have got one of those games where we're 2-3-0 up at half time, it would be ideal, and, um, you know, funnily enough, that's what happened, but, um, you know, we, we, the manager made a point at, uh, half time, you know, he's been in plenty of playoff campaigns where where teams have, have come in with that scoreline and lost. So, um, and you know, we had we had a couple of uh, last couple of minutes at Wheelstone where we also conceded a few. So that's always in the back of your mind. But no, in the end, it's all about um, coming out with the with the win. And, and you know, in, in these type of games, it's, it's a you know a little mini cup competition. And and uh, you know, we come out on the right side of it. I was the lads in there. They must be absolutely buzzing and full of confidence going. To yeah, apart off. from the shower, shower's a freezing cold, so <laughs> that's the, uh, the only downside. But no, the lads, are, you know, the music's pumping and um, you know, the manager's allowed himself a few beers. But um, no, you know, thoroughly happy to go through in the end and um, a big week to prepare for, for a tough Stockport trip. Now. How do you weigh up Stockport? Obviously, we had obviously we finished where we did, so we had to play this game to go to Stockport next week. Tough opponents, obviously, no away fans and full Stockport stadium, but I'm sure the lads are right up for it. Yeah, it'll be a little bit of a flip reverse to this, really. We, uh, you know, we, we've only come up, you know, obviously against Sutton. You know, they were the only only team we've come up against with. With uh, with home support, so no, we'll uh, we'll go in as underdogs. I think really against a good Stockport team who, who've who invested heavily in their squad. So no, it'll be a tough game. Um, but like I said, you've seen today and, and seen in yesterday's games where anything can happen in these playoff games. Um, you know, they're always tight affairs. Uh, as, as much as we dominated um, today, you know, the scoreline probably doesn't reflect that. But um, no, it'll, it'll be uh, be a, a hard week at work in, in training, and, and we'll go there full of confidence. Personally for yourself, how much are you enjoying this role, the middle of the back three, obviously Cass missed out a day, unfortunately due to injury, yeah. Timmy steps in with, with John Owen, whoever it is, the three years, whoever's either, either side of you, you look so confident and assured. Yeah, yeah I'm, you know, obviously I'm not getting any younger so it probably helps me out um, a little bit in terms of, of my running distances but no, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed, you know, I had a tough spell out obviously in, in the beginning of the season where uh, I missed 19, 20, 20 games it was, I think, in the end. But um, no, to, to come back and to, to play every game since, um, more or less apart from when I was obviously suspended. But um, no, to, to, to stay fit and, and to, to you know, keep, keep a, a record going here where you know, I don't think I've lost now in, in, um, since, since March 20, 2020, maybe? March 2020. Uh, because it helps fleet here, so no, I'm uh, happy, happy with that record, and, and you know, happy that it, it comes along with it, with a, with a playoff campaign where hopefully we can, we can uh, keep progressing. We talk about the back line. It must make mm. you feel so much better and confident when you've got the likes of Luke Armstrong and Reece Orts up front, and once again they've delivered today. Yeah, you know, when you've got you know those two lads at the top end of the pitch, you, you know, they've been on fire really. You know, Reece, you know, especially um, in, in, in this year, um, since, since December time, really, you know, he's come on leaps and bounds and. Um, it comes with games, really. You know, he's, he's, he grabbed a few goals, and he, he's uh, got a bit of confidence about him, and he's just he's just carried on. And um, his strike partner up there, Luke, he's, he's been the breath of fresh air as well since he's come in. And just both both a threat, and you know, you know, if it, it, it if it goes long, you know, they're going to be there, and if, if it goes short and in and around the box, you know, they're there for the tappings as well. And you know, they've got everything, and it's uh, it's it's proven dividends at the moment. Just finally, I suppose out of anyone really in there, you kind of know the most what it means to this community mm. and these fans and only 1,700 in, in here today, but it felt like it was sold out. And Do the lads really sense when they hear that noise when they come out the tunnel and are you really passed on that message of how much a, a promotion would mean to this, not this club, but this, just the town as well? Yeah, I've been lucky enough to obviously you know, be part of a promotion team here and um, you know, at the time we, we had an open top bus, I just remember the open top bus parade that we had at the time. and. Uh, you know the streets were lined with thousands and thousands of people, and um, you know to have support like that, you know it sounded as though there was thousands and thousands in here today. But um, it, it's been a long time since since we've been in, and uh, the last two games, you know I'm sure we've 
we've uh, we've served up a, a good treat for them coming back, and um, you know hopefully obviously that's the uh, the last time they can see us here at the Vic this season. But you know hopefully we'll uh, we'll have them along for, for the final in Bristol. How does Gary Little go celebrate now? Pizza and a few beers. Um, that, that's that's my evening. Kids hanging off my neck. Let's enjoy. <laughs> Cheers, Bob.